Okay, welcome back everyone. Andy Spala here from Alon again with another video about Alon Views in Alon 8.2. In our last video, we talked about how to make a 2D based floor plan. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to take that to the next level with 3D. So let's get started. Let's check out our layout tab in Configurator. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our existing floor plan here and we're going to simply draw on top of it. And then once we're done with that, we're going to remove it and then uh, continue on. So to create walls in 3D, what we're going to do is we're going to right click and say create ortho wall. This gives me this little wall segment here and I can click the center of that, drag it. Then I can click a, uh, click an edge, take that, drag it, and I can take that and we're going to extend that all the way down to the end there. And we're just going to move that up just a little bit. Now to have that wall take a turn, I'm going to right click and say new vertex. And I will click and drag and create the other side of our wall there. Right click again, new vertex. I'm going to take that here up to our front door. Right click again, new vertex. And we're going to simply repeat this process until we have the outline of our house. And then once we have the outline, we're going to go ahead and um, build our interior walls and our doors and our windows. So again, new vertex. I'm going to draw over that door. We're going to come back later again and, and define uh, separate um, walls and, uh, excuse me, doors and windows. New vertex again. And one more to complete our wall section. So there we go. We now have our walls. Let's check this out in the viewer quick. Click apply to save. And there we go. Now we have uh, our wall. I could spin that around just like that. So that's how easy it is uh, to get started. Okay, so now let's draw some interior walls and then we'll go back and add some windows. So right click, new ortho wall. So we're gonna take this uh, little wall here by the kitchen, just like that. Again, we can kind of zoom in. to see a little more precisely what's going on there. I'll take that new vertex, come out for a little area by the stove. Okay, let's see, what else do we have? Okay, we got a little wall here by the bedroom and living room. So we're gonna go through, create ortho wall. You can see I can pull that down and it's going to do that. And uh, to move that wall side to side, I grab the center of it, the little a point in the center there. Okay. Now we're actually going to come down all this way. We're going to, again, add that door in later on. Just like that. Same thing with that closet door. We're going to create a new vertex there. And drag that all the way across to the bathroom. Okay, let's go ahead. New uh, ortho wall. I'll bring that in right there. Let's zoom out. That's our wall between, uh, looks like our two closets. Right click again, create another ortho wall until we have everything in there. And we'll do a new vertex to get that wall between the closets and the bathroom. And actually, okay, we got a door here. So I'm going to take that, extend that all the way down there. And then again, we're going to come back to find that door later. And, okay, one more off the wall right there. Okay, so it looks like we have all of our walls in here. Let's check this out in uh, Configurator here or excuse me, the viewer. I'll go ahead and move that. 
and looking pretty good. Just have to add some doors in there now for the bathroom, bedroom. And on the computer, I'm holding down control to spin this. On a touch device, you would just use your fingers to uh, manipulate it. Okay, now let's work on some windows and some doors. To do that, uh, very simply just going to add another ortho wall, and we're going to put that right where our window should be. So we have that right there. I've got that lined up on that existing wall. Right click, select properties, and to make a window, I'm going to select subtype, security window. And this is where uh, I can optionally define a security zone to that window so that when that window is open, it'll show up as red. Same thing for a door. So um, we will, we don't have that here. We'll call that uh, side entrance. We can imagine. So let's check out that window. Now you can see here we have that window in place. Just like that right there. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so we have one window there. We're going to do that again for this uh, window in the bedroom. Create another ortho wall. Get that lined up there. Looks like the window goes about that to that. Right click on it, click properties. And I'm going to select security window again. And then click apply. Okay, what else do we have? No windows up front. Hmm, looks like a very, uh, very interesting house. Not many windows here, but that's okay. We'll create some doors now. Create new ortho wall again for a door. Right-click Properties, Security Door. And again, I can optionally select a security zone here to show when that door is open or closed, and it'll show up red. Now let's show, uh, see what a door looks like. Let's zoom out a little bit there. And we'll spin that around. And there you go. You've got a door, right? So when you define something as a window or a door, it'll cut out basically that section of the wall that you've created. A couple more doors here. We're going to go ahead and add those in. This is where I may remove this part in editing. Okay, and here's our 3D floor plan that we've created. Everything's looking good. We've got our windows in. We have our doors in. Everything is uh, looking good to go. Uh, one final thing. We're going to take out our uh, 2D model. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a um, uh, an image of just flooring. Um, and that's it. Now, this floor plan isn't bad because uh, it's very colorful, but most of them will not be this way. So I'm going to uh, take this out and um, um, use a PNG of just some flooring so that it looks like uh, the actual house. All right, so now let's change out our floor. All I'm going to do here is come to my image, right-click Properties, reselect an image, and I have my file as a PNG. This is just a Wood flooring I took right off the internet, um, just Googled it, just to give us a little texture there, a little realism. And uh, that's it. So I'm just going to go ahead and resize that now. Just like that. Let's see what that looks like. So not bad. So there we go. That's our finalized 3D version. Very easy to deploy. Thank you everyone for watching.